Hey guys, it's Comic Con Day. You're probably wondering why. So I've got my dress on basically already. I'm a bit cold. Um, and I don't want to spill anything on it. So I'm like wrapped in this. Because usually what I do if I'm at a hotel is I won't have a shower. Um, I'll have my shower after that and stuff like that. And I'll chill a little bit in my um, night dress or whatever. Or even naked. But anyway... <laughs> But because my mum wants to use a shower at 7 o'clock because she's going somewhere and it's kind of like then maybe my dad will end up getting up after so it's kind of like it's better just to do it this way. But anyway, so today I've never been to a Comic Con on a Sunday or one that's just on a Sunday which is a bit weird but it is the school holidays so I mean it could be busy, it could not be busy. It's one of those smaller ones and it is in where I live which is the the company is I can remember it's U K C G F I think something like that but this is the first time they've been in Derby obviously we've had comic cons in the past in Derby um the reason why the last one stopped was because the company I can't remember who it was run by got greedy up in the north so basically if you're a smaller comic com comic con act like a smaller comic con do not try and get guests that you cannot afford because that's what happened to that comic con and they had to drop a load of them because they just couldn't afford to run it because they overblown um in a comic con in the north as well i can't remember what the company was called but <laughs> there's that but anyway so but there's always been a drift edge uh, a J con but i'm not really into anime but they've always been a J con in Tarby, but yeah so i will say their social media is not the greatest the way they advertise it is not the greatest the only reason i found that is when i searched on google but the thing is like if you've got comic cons that are coming like advertise what's happening like comic con not like really last minute i don't know I think they need to kind of like work on that maybe I don't know um so yeah I'm not sure if it's going to be busy or not apparently their last one not their last one but their last one last one wasn't that busy and they had literally po literally apologized which was kind of kind but you know I'm just so excited though because there's a store that was at Megacon but I didn't have the money or the funds to get them but she sold these like cute little like handmade plushies oh my god she's gonna be here <laughs> And, you know, I got paid Friday, so this is going to be fun. <laughs> um, but, yeah, there's also cosplay meals. But, again, you can't see them until you're actually in the venue. So, so I didn't watch the fight because, obviously, the, because I'm getting up early to go to this. And I didn't want to be even more tired. And I don't really want to run on caffeine. And, yeah, anyway. So, I didn't bother watching it. And, usually, I if I'm, I'm going to pay for it to watch the cards, I'm going to watch the whole thing, not just one fight, because otherwise like, it's a waste of money. Anyway, I generally thought Nate was going to beat Jake Paul. I generally thought Nate was going to beat Jake Paul. Jake Paul, like, I put a five pound bet, but um, <clears throat> turns out Jake Paul won. He, he didn't, like, um, it, it was by decision, obviously. I, I'm not seeing the clips on it and to see if Jake was dominated and stuff. I know he wanted to knock him out. That didn't work, but I'm actually surprised because I generally thought Nate was going to win. So there's that. It looks like as well Jake's agreed will offer to Diaz. Let's do it again, but in MMA to give you a chance. So I'm like, oh, okay, that's, that's quite humble to do. But still, I'm surprised Diaz didn't beat Jake anyway. So, yeah. Other news, anyone remember Lost Profits? You know, that's such a good band and it turns out Ian Watkins is the most disgusting human being on the planet. Honestly, when that came out, I was so sad. I was in denial for like a few weeks and I was like, okay, he's definitely done it. But I loved that band. Anyway, <laughs> in some news, um, apparently, I don't know how this happens, but to be fair, he was in there for like child porn, child planning of having sex with said child that sort of thing and inmates hate that kind of thing and I've heard stories where um actually um the jail jail guards actually ignore ignore it when like other inmates like be able they have to literally segregate them because when it comes to crime sexual crime against children is just completely wrong anyway so 
Um, basically, he got kidnapped. Yeah, I don't know how this happens in a jail. But he got kidnapped by inmates and got beaten up, got stabbed, and now he's in critical condition. I just find it weird the fact that they've highlighted is the fact that he was kidnapped by inmates. <laughs> like, how he, the fact that he got kidnapped in prison, I don't know, I thought it was hilarious. He got there in the end, my wig was being a little pain in the backside. Even now, at the back, I'm not so happy with it, but... It's just gonna have to do um but yeah i had to quickly give another brush around which is so freaking annoying um but yeah other than that we're all set finally <laughs> <laughs> actually a pretty good con like I really enjoyed it um so yeah like there was quite a lot of people I think maybe because technically the company is well established people know them um so a lot of people probably traveled and not many people from Darwin might have gone but I didn't think it was going to be that busy because as I said I questioned like their marketing stuff but clearly they're doing something right because OMD is actually busy so I ended up morning was a fiasco so <laughs> I ended up being there half an hour early bear in mind it was freezing at that time standing outside waiting but uh, as uh, this kind of explains us how busy it was from half nine people were queuing up <laughs> that's how busy it was and um, uh, what I was gonna say um yeah, it's a bit of a fiasco because I was meant to get the bus. The bus was late. I was like, okay, if the bus doesn't, the bus doesn't turn up at nine o'clock. I'm gonna phone it. I'm gonna um not phone a taxi, but I've got the taxi app. I'm gonna order a taxi. So I ordered a taxi, and obviously waiting for this taxi, the bus will the, the bu bus drove past at six minutes past. Do you know how annoying that is? And I had b already bought the bus ticket, which was so which was so annoying. Um, but yeah, on the way back, I got the two buses. So a bus from the venue to the bus station, and then, uh, then that bus home. So, yeah, I was gonna walk, but I was feeling a little bit chilly because the sun was out and the sun was an out. And the thing, and the thing is as well, which I was going to anyway, but I forgot because this is quite um a tight fitting dress. It was and it's short already. It will start like riding up really short, and then yeah that's a fiasco and it's that but yeah i actually really enjoyed the con there was a lot of things to do there was like a dragon that was very interactive like very interactive with the audience there was also a dragon as well um 
I don't know if there's somebody in the dinosaur or if that was all like electro but there was someone in the dragon as well including like electronic like stuff I, I believe and then we had um an interactive Dalek like it wasn't saying like your normal cat I swear there's a person there I, don't know. I assume there's a person there because he could see things well the Dalek could see things and um at my unless it was someone unless it had a camera in it and someone was operating it like somewhere else I don't know but that was pretty cool and then yeah so it's it's really good con as I said there's one next week I don't know I don't think it's by this company but I stopped at a store and they gave me a leaflet for this one at Matlock um I don't know if I'll go or not because well yeah Matlock's quite a bit I don't need to find out how close it is to the train station and I brought a lot I brought money out, okay, to use the money, and then I used, used the money in my account, and I kind of went a little bit crazy, which I'll show you in a minute, but yeah, and then I did the cosplay competition, I thought, why not, and um, the winners, oh my god, the Woody and um, Bo Peep cosplay was so good, I knew they were gonna win, they were like, really good, like, but yeah, they won, and then they had a kiddies one as well, but yeah, <laughs> I actually did not, I, I went into that not knowing even know what the prizes were anyway, but yeah, I thought, you know, might as well, like, enter it, um, but yeah, by then I would have gone home around, like, two o'clock, because by then I'd seen everything, they did have a gaming area, oh my god, so, they had a gaming area, there was a VR, it was too quiet for the experience, and it was kind of, it was one of those VRs where it's kind of like a phone's attached to it, so it wasn't like a PlayStation VR kind of thing, and it was kind of, it was an alright game, but I was expecting like, it was like a rhythm game, I kind of wanted a little bit more, I don't, I don't know if there's other games, but he, and he just decided to give me the rhythm game, I don't know, um, and then they had all these other games, but every time I went around there, there was someone on them, which was, <laughs> which was really annoying, um, so I didn't get to do that um but yeah first things first i got this really nice necklace this was 10 pounds i had all sorts of like necklaces and stuff and this was made by aquamarina stones not made by that's not the person's name that's the name of the <laughs> but yes i picked that up um i then picked up two comics so i picked up dc rebirth harley quinn um this one is issue eight and then i picked up this one here which is the batman um issue number 181 it's the first appearance of poison ivy i then so they did this like experience where you could take photos either in front of the gremlin or in a shark so the thing is so i'm not saying okay so the shark you can't take take it on your phone for whatever reason um i don't know the reason why but the gremlins you could so because if you wanted to go gremlins you can either pay i can't remember it's like three pound for like something not like for it to be printed out or two pound fifty on a phone but you can't with jaws one and so i paid three pound for this and okay it's like those instant prints but a little bit better quality i know it was only three crown but maybe just, just a little bit more um but yeah so there's that <laughs> and then obviously i went back to that store i talked about which did i talk about yeah i did it's been a long day i can't remember mentioning the vlog, in the beginning of the vlog they were at megacom but i didn't have enough funds to go crazy to buy any of the blushies and i brought two today because she was that dark. I was so happy when she posted on her Instagram store I was like yes so I put on this one like just look how cute that one is and I also picked up this one as well um I did have a she put a card in like uh, can I find it yes yeah, yeah because I do definitely recommend um her shop um but yeah she's also a cosplayer as well but yeah, so is that. So I'm not really a lector of Funko Pops anymore, but this is unusual and I like it. I like how it's like pixelated, like a game, old um, pixelated game. Um, but yeah, so this was £25, which is pricey, but it was a GameStop exclusive, which GameStop is American. So I'm, I'm going to be honest with you, it's coming out of the box though. 
<laughs> because I didn't buy this for the cool design for it to be in its box. I do have a gelled way um, Hot Topic exclusive still in its box, but this cannot still in its box. Just look how cool that is. This is coming out the box. <laughs> <laughs> and of course, I picked up my favourite Pikachu, my favourite Pokemon in a hat form. This is side look. I was going to get Eevee though because Eevee looked really cute bag so this was um marvel dc and it was 20 pounds so i did get a sneak peek while i opened it there is a plushie in there but oh yeah. okay so if i saw this sell selling this at the store you know and i was looking at it <laughs> but it is the joker plushie She's cute. We have got Rocket um, Raccoon. This looks cool. Hulk wall wooden stackable figure. And then we've got Deadpool Axis issue 70. Contains volume 4, issue 35 to 40. That's actually a cool one. Bear in mind, this was worth 20 quid, so you definitely... I'm always nervous about mystery boxes in Comic Cons, but this one, I'm liking this one. And we've got a Funko Pop of Sarah, uh, Doctor Strange, and the Multiverse of Madness. We have this... Oh, this mystery... Um, Mighty Minion Minis Mystery Batman, and then finally we have this Captain America keyring. So that's definitely worth the money. Actually, definitely worth twenty quid. As I said, I don't really get them that often because it does scare me. The only one I've gotten before is a Pokemon one. Um, but yeah, this is supposed to be a Marvel slash DC. They're actually all Marvel products i would have liked a little bit of a mix but you know action because i'm brain dead obviously the joke is dc <laughs> and this is dc but still i mean maybe like have an even amount if that makes any sense other than that i'm actually really happy when it comes to the stores there was actually quite a good variety um it was literally a mix of everything like, the atmosphere felt like MCON, but it was good quality stores, if that makes any sense. If you saw my Nottingham MCON vlog, when I went last year, I think it was, I said I wasn't a massive fan, just because a lot of the stores were selling tack. <laughs> Whereas this one, it was more like a variety, but it still had that family feel that um mcon feel that mcon has and um, so it's like a mix of everything because i like to like read comics i would have liked to see more of a variety of independent comics but usually if i want that i'll just go to nottingham con because there's mcon and there's nottingham con <laughs> um but yeah but as i said overall i definitely recommend it i will hopefully they come back to derby um i may look at where other places they go to but yeah this one is a tick and will be on my ongoing um, Comic Con lists to go to. So yeah. The Derby Arena's coffee is disgusting. Honest to God. Like that I get the lattes are supposed to be creamy, but there's creamy and there's like doesn't taste like coffee, just tastes of it it's so weak, really weak. <laughs> Don't have their coffee there, because yeah. I forgot to mention this in my other Comic Con vlog, but a top tip with wigs is best before you put them away to brush them out so when you come to dig it out, it's not so much of a tangle so you don't have to brush, like, take your time brushing it as long if you brush it before you put it away and always start from the bottom and then work your way up. 